Welcome to Kermit Uncut. I'm here at the beautiful Cinema Museum in South London where we've just finished filming our annual roundup of the year for the BBC News Channel. Now, if you're watching television over the Christmas period, I hope you see the uh, Best of 2017 roundup, but also you're going to want to watch some movies, right? So, I've done a 10-day roundup of a movie a day to see you through the Christmas period, from the Christmas weekend all the way through to New Year's Day. Let's go. So let's start off on Saturday the 23rd, and my pick of the day is a stone-cold classic, Mildred Pierce, directed by Michael Curtiz, adapted from a story by James M. Cain, and starring Joan Crawford, who won an Oscar for her performance, and rightly so. I've got what I wanted. Monty's going to divorce you and marry me. No, Vita. And there's nothing you can do about it. On to Christmas Eve, and I've chosen Great Expectations. Not the David Lean version, but the much more recent Michael Newell version with Rafe Fiennes as Magwitch and Helena Bonham Carter, brilliant, as Miss Havisham. What do you think of her? I think she's very pretty. You can break his heart. And we stay with Helena Bonham Carter on Christmas Day because they're screening Kenneth Branagh's live-action Cinderella. Now, I know not all critics really loved this film, but I enjoyed it. I thought it looked terrific. And Helena Bonham Carter is the maddest fairy godmother you will ever encounter. That's better. My fairy godmother. Now, I've chosen something a little bit more melancholy for Boxing Day. It's a film that I've gone on about over and over again here on the blog. It's Song of the Sea, a wonderful Irish animation full of selkies and fairies and resourceful children. I love that movie, and it's always lovely to have another chance to see it again. Which brings us to Wednesday the 27th. Now, my choice may not be to everybody's taste, but my pick of the day for Wednesday is Sunshine on Leith. I know what you're going to say. It's just M Mamma Mia. No, it isn't. It's so much more than that. Plus, it caught my attention because it's directed by Dexter Fletcher, who's just been announced as the replacement director for the troubled forthcoming Queen biopic Bohemian Rhapsody. Now, no one knows what Bohemian Rhapsody is going to turn out like, but I'll tell you this, Sunshine on Leith is a hit. Now, something a bit different on Thursday the 28th, Slow West. It's a Western starring Michael Fassbender and directed by John McClane. McClane described the film as being like a European road movie with fairy tale inflections. It's set in 19th century Colorado and shot in 21st century New Zealand. I know that sounds odd, but believe me, it all comes together somehow. Dry your eyes, kid. Let's drift. On to Friday the 29th, and my pick of the day is David Fincher's Gone Girl, brilliantly adapted from Gillian Flynn's novel. One of the reasons I love this film so much is it has a fantastic central performance by Rosamund Pike. And once again, it's a movie which does stand up to repeat viewing. This man of mine may kill me. What about my son? Nick! This man may kill me. In her own words, this man may truly kill me. Which brings us to Saturday the 30th, and to me, Saturday says speed. Now, if you're a regular here at the blog, you'll know that I love speed. I did a blog just a couple of weeks ago about I'd watch the film again for complicated reasons, and I was knocked out by how good it was. I'm going to watch it again. Ah! Ah! Help! Ah! Mac! Mac, you've got to get me out of here! Then on to Sunday the 31st, New Year's Eve, and my pick of the day is the Lego Movie. And I've chosen this for a very simple reason. When the Lego Movie was announced, I thought, that's a terrible idea. That's never going to work. It's never going to be funny. It's never going to be interesting. It's never going to be witty. It's never going to be anything like as good as Lego. I was wrong on every count. Ah, no, guys, wait up. <laughs> and finally, on New Year's Day, my pick of the day is Noah. It's the Bible, Jim, but not as we know it. If you like your biblical epics to come with massive transformer-like rock monsters, then Darren Aronofsky is the man for you. I have men at my back, and you stand alone and defy me. I'm not alone. So there we are, a movie a day to see you through the Christmas New Year period. And if you're watching television during that period, be sure to tune into the BBC News Channel to see my roundup of the year. <laughs>